Okay, and once again, we won't say what store we're in because we love this store. Oh, wait, let me... I don't know if it got any of where it's at. But anyways, I've worked every kind of job. You only stack things like this, like near an end cap, when you're selling a crap ton of the product. So if Corona beer really was doing so bad due to this virus, why is it in every single store I go in, I see Corona beer stacked up taller than me taller than me in every store in every store yeah because the coronavirus is really yeah, impacting we're, we're in here, really, yeah because the coronavirus is really impacting the sales of corona beer negatively right yeah, yeah. so and, and like i said i've worked retail i've worked grocery stores I've worked every kind of job. I've worked at a car wash. I've worked at a next fancy hotel. I've worked, uh, like I said, um, I've worked at a bank. I've worked literally every kind of job. My mom will tell you this. It's not an exaggeration. I've had like 50 different jobs. So I know how things work when they're selling products. You don't put things like stacked this high on like in the middle of the store at, or on an end cap unless it's selling like crazy. It's stacked higher than me, literally. It's, it's, it's as tall as me. It's literally this tall. Do you see this? Yeah. Coronavirus is a gimmick to sell Corona beer and other things. So, I got on this Truman Show when I was in Texas. They're really, really ignorant. And so, I just wanted to film this. There's a lady over here freaking out because Texas has decided to make a fake Truman Show. When I go outside, I'm going to film the huge thing on top of this building, which gets all the information of the people and records it. As I said, this is all fake. My mom works at a billion dollar hospital. She, she has a floor of five coronavirus victims. Five. Five. More people have died of the flu than coronavirus. <laughs> Texas is doing this. They're, they're, they're following people around causing confrontation they think it's funny they think it's funny to mandela affect people and everyone knows i dislike texas what's the mathematical probability that in florida there's a guy with a texas hat standing right behind me i hope you find this entertaining texas good job you dumb idiots mandela affect everyone make everyone live in fear and then watch for your entertainment good job you dumb retards oh wait and before I end this, let me go outside and film the thing that I'm talking about. That's getting all of this on film for your entertainment viewing pleasure. Making a lady, like a lady over there was really afraid, getting so sad. Is it hot outside? Is the weather machine making it 100 degrees right now because it's so entertaining? Is it? Is it really, really hot? Is it really hot? Because it starts raining when they're sad. Raining. Okay, there it is right there. Let me see if I can get it. There's a tree in a way. There it is. That thing right there. Every time Texas retards show up, that thing right there will be there. And it's getting all of it on tape. All of it. It's getting all of it on tape right there. There you go. Good job, you freaking morons. Also, just to clarify, when I said I got on that Truman Show when I was in Texas, I mean they put me on it. As in, without my permission. So, that's what I mean. These freaking retarded, ignorant people have nothing to do but get stuck on you and then try to follow you around and Mandela Effect stuff and then try to make it their entertainment. I've seen them do this multiple times. So, yeah, it's really dumb and they're really ignorant. And um, they apparently have nothing better to do, which is their problem. I just wish they would unattach from me and take their ignorant, stupid selves back down to Texas and leave me alone so that I can continue to enjoy being in beautiful Florida without their stupid ignorance. That would be nice.